Sephora for their VIP, VIP, 15% um, off um, sale in 2015. So first thing first, um, I wanted to get every single thing that I can possibly need um, or wanted because I know that I can always return, but the sale is only once a year, so I just have to make sure to get everything. Um, once a year, I try to buy one or two foundation that I really want to try and I got the Dior Skin New Air um, in the shade Linen. Um, so first thing first, there is very limited shade for this foundation. There's only seven shade um, that I saw in the store um, and the sh this shade looks, um, it looked very, very dark in person um, especially when you put a drop onto your hand um, as the the girl from Sephora did just like so it looks very yellow and yes I am um, a yellow undertone type of girl but still it looks very severely yellow and I was very hesitant to get it um, but I really wanted this foundation and so I told her you know what let's just try it on and let's sheer it out and see if it's any different when you shear it out and it actually did so if you notice if you shear it out it actually blends very very nicely and it doesn't look as yellow so I was very excited that I didn't pass it up um, pass it up the first um, the first go and um, I wearing it on today um, it looks very nice it looks sheer dewy fresh looking it's like not wearing makeup so I really like this one if you have a lot to cover I would not recommend this product because it's like I mentioned a very sheer to medium coverage um, so that the next product is um, the naked skin urban decay naked naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer um, I use I typically use the Mac Pro Long Wear Concealer. I wanted to try something different, so I picked this out. Uh, my shade is a light neutral. I went with a shade lighter than my skin tone because I want it to have a brightening effect. So really, when you look for a concealer, it depends on what your need is. If you want to brighten, I would recommend at least a shade or two darker than your complexion so that you can brighten the under eye areas. Um, if you just want to spot treat areas on your skin that's problematic, then I would go with the um, color of your skin tone. Um, for me, I don't have a lot to conceal in terms of my skin. However, I do want to brighten, so I go with this two shade. I think one shade darker than my skin tone. So far, it works out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the product. It's light. It's very lightweight and um you know and it's your typical concealer i mean it's not like amazing so you just dab 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 um i was torn between this product and the um nars concealer as you know i'm a very devoted nars wearer so um i was going to complete my collection with the concealer but um i just wanted to try something different and i tried them both on underneath my eye in the store one is urban concealer urban decay and one is nard and this one looks a bit bright brighter um, on my skin and it's just more lightweight so i decided to go with this one especially in the summer the summer is coming up i don't wear i do not want to wear something that's too heavy and i already have the mac prolong concealer prolong wear concealer so i opted to go for this one the next product, um, which I didn't expect to purchase, it was a last minute um, product. I wanted to get a BB cream for daily wear, day that I really feel low maintenance and just want to put something, put something on healthy skin, healthy glow and get out of the house. 
Um, so I was torn between the Laura Mercier BB Cream Tinted Moisturizer without oil, oil free, the black one, and the Tarte BB Cream as well as the Mashbox BB Cream. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just didn't like any of them. And as I was browsing the skincare aisle, um, the Cell Associate mentioned this Amore Pacific um, CC Cream um, Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact. So as you know, um, in Asia, especially in Korea, BB Cream and CC Cream are extremely popular and it's basically a healthier um, foundation. It's supposed to moisturize um, and treat your skin to keep it healthy in addition to the regular job of a, of, of a, of a foundation, which is coverage. Um, the Amore Pacifics is well-known skincare line, and I just love this concept. So how it goes is that you know how BB cream and CC cream tend to go um, in a tube, um, but this one is a compact, so it's like a powder. It comes with a little applicator, like so. Um, so the product is underneath this and you, um, it's a cream, like it's a powder. You just go dab, 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 go onto your skin, go onto your skin. Um, when I tried it in the store, it looks very, um, natural. Um, it's light, it's lightweight. It doesn't smell any, um, it doesn't smell very, you know, obnish, um, obnoxious. And I was reading online about this product and everybody said that, oh, it smelled really bad. But to me, maybe I'm just not that sensitive, but it didn't smell very bad to me. So um, this is quite pricey. It's about $60. But given that it's a skincare, skincare product slash um, foundation, so I thought this is worthwhile. So I'll try this on and I'll let you guys know. I'm going to be wearing this a lot during the summer because I don't want to wear a lot of makeup during the summer. I'm just going to wear this, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of mascara, and that's it. Um, the next product, I actually got this at Nordstrom.com. I want to mention it because I think it's a very great concept, especially for the summer. It is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel um, Bronze and Bake Makeup. So it is, it's a humongous jar. What it is, is it's a bronzing base. It's a mousse. So what you do is um, you can use it in two ways. Number one, you can use it as an overall um, bronzing product. So you just use your foundation brush or kabuki brush. You dip it in here. You thin it out onto your um, the back of your hand. You just buff it in very lightly, depending on how bronze you want to be. If you're light skin, you can bronze it. You know you need very little because you don't want to look too orange but if you're darker you can go you know twice third time fourth time um, you just bronze it out including all the area that are skin exposed um, or you can use this as a um, contour so it's actually very pigmented and it's not orangey it's it's very um, brownish not brownish, but I would say uh, like darker, sh darker shade or tone. Um, it's a it's a cool tone. I'm sorry, that's the word cool tone. So it goes on very nicely, nicely with a lot of skin tone. Um, you use it as a con contour. So as you know, contour means you use it here, um, around along the bridge of the nose anywhere that you want to shade and make you look skinnier. For me, I have a very prominent jaw. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a prominent jaw, but sometimes I just want it to be a bit um, thinner, so I would shade this area to make my jaw less prominent. So, um, the next product is, um, I'll talk about this. Um, actually, I'll talk about this. Um, I wanted to get um, some new eyeshadow, especially purple, because I thought purples would look really good with brown eyes. Um, I saw this on Nordstrom, um, and I got the purple range as well as the brown one. 
um, the purple one turned out to be not as pr um, not not as um, it's not the same as it looked online so but I incidentally picked out the burgundy times nine eyeshadow times nine um, so this is a um, a nine shade eyeshadow it's brown tone neutral tone every they all looks very very nice there's matte the shimmer um, as well as glitter shades in here very versatile um, I've been wearing this a lot for the past two weeks and I really enjoy it and they are what I'm wearing today and um, I'm a neutral tone type of girl so I love these um, shade I think it's gonna be very versatile you can use it for work and then you can transform it with the glitter for a day night look I mean a night time look I'm sorry I can't even talk um, the next product is a cult favorite a favorite I mean, favorite I have heard a lot of this um, about this product online on YouTube as well as um, other beauty bloggers um, it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Powder in the um, shade Opal. Opal. Um, as you know, I am an hourglass girl. Well, I don't know if you know, but I love hourglass. I think hourglass um, done a lot of great products. And one of my favorite is this trio of, um, of um, I would say, um, highlighters. Um, and I use a lot of the the one in the middle is called Incandescent light incandescent light. So that's why there's a dent in the middle um, And I use it as a highlighter for the cheekbones um, the nose um, right here right here and the cupid bow um, And I wanted to try this one and to be honest with you it looks kind of scary because there's a lot of shimmer in here let me oh, sorry so let me just so it's extremely pigmented a lot of shimmer it's not like glitter but shimmer um, I think this is something that you would wear um, with a full face of makeup it's not something that you would wear daily to go to work or anything like that I would stick to this for a daily look because it's less noticeable this one it does look like you're wearing makeup so it's not something that you would wear if you're trying to achieve the look of I'm not really wearing makeup my skin just look glowy and healthy um, I'm wearing it right now and as you see as you can tell I mean you can see this thing from the moon it's just I mean, it's look very nice, but it's just so, oh my God, just so pigmented. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this. I think I will wear this when I go out. I have a full face of makeup on and I just wanna look extra beat, like today. Uh, so that is that. And also the next products is the Hourglass bronzer is called radiant bronze light so i'm very excited when i heard about this product because i love um hourglass hourglass products i love their foundation i think the blushes are just amazing i think the dim the light um these things the highlighters are just must have and um there haven't been one product from hourglass that i didn't enjoy um, so when I heard about this, I was so excited. I went to Sephora.com. I went, I went on, I went um, on YouTube. I was reading about the, you know, the the difference between the two shades, and everybody was saying that um, the luminous, the luminous one is a lot darker. So I went with the radiant, which people said um, was a little bit lighter, and. Um, Oh my god, the first time when I tried it on in the store, the lady applied it and it looks amazing. So I thought I would use this as an over, all over bronze. Um, and this morning when I put it on, oh my god. Because um, be usually I use a, um, a flat brush, I mean a kabuki brush, not a kabuki brush, a, 
blush brush to like go and do my contour with the bronzer and I made the mistake of not taking off some of the product before I apply it on and oh my god there's a big streak of orange right here on my cheek and I was like oh no now I have to take all my makeup off and then redo my makeup but thank god um, I was able to share it out with a brush so all of that just to say that yes it is beautiful but you have to use very little product and you have to take some of the product off of your brush and then go in don't do not apply the direct the brush dip the brush directly onto the pot and then apply to your skin i think that the mistake i mean not the mistake that was what people was talking about when they say that it's too dark and too orange because they didn't shear the product out so this one i'm gonna try to love it um and um i'm gonna try to apply as little product as possible and see how it how it does um and last but not least <laughs> i love packaging um, sometimes i just buy products for the sake of the package and this time i i have always wanted i love the packaging of dior as well as um, YSLs and I know that YSLs have um, are known for their lip colors especially the tin so I wanted to get one of the tin lip tin um, it was between this shade which is a pinkish uh, rosy pink and the peach color like a peach shade I'm not exactly I don't remember exactly what the peach shade is called but I know that um, there's a peach color, like a coral color, um, lip, lip gloss, a lip tin. This is the Rouge Per, Rouge Per Couture Venice Lavier, Lavieris. Um, so this is the lip sync that's, the, the claim to fame is that it lasts a very long time, it's very pigmented. And I can say that, yes, it does. Um, yesterday I went to dinner with friends, I ate sushi, and at the end of the dinner, my lip tin was still on full force and this color is so pretty i think this is a color that i would wear during the summer just so pinky and you know pinky and it's also on a golden like on a tan um girl it's gonna look so pretty and then on a not so tan girl you can sheer it out and it's still it will still look pretty on you i guarantee it's, this is so pretty the color this color is color 17 so i'm excited for this one the next one i didn't mean to purchase but the color would just attracted me so much um because you i i wanted to get that this packaging so i didn't really look at these regular uh, packaging but this is oh my this is such an amazing color it's red but it's also a shade of coral so it's coral red and i think this is gonna be so amazing in the summer just this lipstick no not a lot of eyeshadow just this lipstick bronze skin i mean and highlighters oh my god this is gonna be so amazing just big big old sunglasses and you just sit by the beach and just put your lipstick on and just sit there like j-lo um but anyways so it's what i'm wearing today i mean i'm not super tan right now so it's not you know but i think it looks really nice okay so this is um rouge pour couture shade 13 and the next two lipstick um, again, I thought the packaging was just so amazing. One is pink and one is like a new color, the, the kind of um, Kylie Jenner look. This shade is pinkish, amazing looking, um, something that I would wear every single day. Um, this is the Kylie Jenner shade. It's nude, it's, you know, it's your all the crave right now so I wanted to try it so 
And at the end, um, because I have been buying so much shit from Sephora, so they gave me the VIB Rouge. Um, as some of you know, um, when you got, get a certain point level, um, like at certain points, then you are advanced from like a regular Beauty Insider to VIB, VIB, and then VIB Rouge. Uh, Rouge is like the top um, level. Um, I already have a VIB Rouge card uh, for my sister-in-law who gave me a lot of her VIB Rouge like perks and stuff. And one of the reasons why she gave me the card was that if you have VIB Rouge, I believe you get free makeovers. Otherwise, you would have to pay like $50. Not pay $50, you have to purchase $50 worth of products to get free makeovers. Um, so, but now I officially became a VIB Rouge. Um, and this is a welcoming package. It has, you know, the Marc Jacob Mini lipstick, which I already own because like I mentioned, my sister-in-law is a VIB Rouge. So see, she gave this to me already. I love this packaging. I mean, come on. Red, so slick. I love Marc Jacob packaging. I mean, I'm not a big fan of his products. What did I try? I tried the foundation. I tried the liner. The, the liner is actually is good. Um, but I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't crazy about it. Um, so this is a really true red lipstick, uh, deep red. Um, I think that what looks really great on everyone. Since I already have this one, I will give it away to my sister, my mom, or one of my friends. So that, so that was pretty much it. Um, I mean, I didn't, looking back, um, I didn't get a lot of things. Um, I believe I will try everything, I will try everything out. And some of it I already know I'm gonna return, like, I have a feeling that I will return this because I already have the Chanel Tan Soleil Dan Soleil Tan de Chanel and they kind of do the same job for the summer so we'll see but thank you so much for watching um, this is my first video I know I make a lot of mistake and it's not very very um, organized so um, if you have any suggestion or comment on how I can do better next time, please feel free to leave a comment below. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.